once again, it's your boy Daydex from Triple D Gaming coming at you with another how to video. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So I am sure that um, you guys have came across this. Uh, if you haven't, you probably wouldn't be watching the video. But oh, there we go. <laughs> So you load your um, mod for FS22 into Giants Editor uh, 9.0101, and it just doesn't show up. You got your errors and everything. It's, you just can't see the mod. Um, so I'm going to show you how to fix that, and we're going to fix that right quick. And I'm going to show you how to um, do the auto conversion uh, for a mod from FS19. So, um, first thing you're going to do to get your mods to show up is come up here to file. Your drop down menu here. Come down to preference, guys. Preference. And then right here. All right. So, if you got your game downloaded through Steam, uh, you're going to go to the path take for steam all right so mine is i moved mine from um c drive i moved it down to d drive and then i have it 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 is uh yours would probably be c drive but it's uh c drive steam library steam apps common and then fs22 and then you just push uh, select folder. And then that puts that down there. Because what's happening to you. Uh, if you come down here and you click on this before you do that. And you just hit on your keyboard uh, right arrow. And you come over here. I guarantee you it's uh, still on the path for FS19. If you had FS19 before getting FS22. That's exactly what happened to mine. And that's what I had to do um, to get my mods to show up in the editor. I had to uh, put this uh, game installation path. You have to put the path to the game in there. If not, your mods don't show up. Okay? Make sure you hit apply. Alright. Now, to convert a mod, autoly, <laughs> um, you're still going to have to do some XML file, uh, XML file work, but what you're going to do is come up to file again. Okay. Right here. Open mod. Click on that. All right. Now, if you got your mod on the desktop or wherever you, you find that mod, it has to be unzipped, obviously. Okay. And then what should we do? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this pipe pack, I guess. All right, so you'll click on the pipe pack or whatever you're doing, and you come right here to the mod desk. All right, M O D, capital D E S C. Highlight that and hit open. Then it's going to pop up like this. Found mod files from old farm simulator. Upgrade files automatically using cloud service. Yes. Okay. And then it's going to ask you where you want that. The um, converted. Where the original one is. And then where you want the converted one to go. I'm just leaving it at the same place on the desktop. And then it's going to start converting a mod for you. And then right here. If it's a tractor, if it's anything like that, it's going to show you air files, warnings, all the stuff you're going to have to fix manually. Okay, so um, it says success for everything right here. I highly doubt that it is. <laughs> uh, if it is, it'll be the first mod that I have converted and it actually just worked. Um, then if there is problems, you can hit save report. And then it'll save the report for you in an XML file. Then you can open that up to go back to it to see what needs fixed. 
So then you can close that. All right. Now from here, you can actually open it up in Giants Editor. All right. Now, if you don't do that path thing first through preferences, it won't open it up. Um, so you do that. Right. Now you can open up. Here's all the uh, the pipes that was in that pack. So now we can actually open one of them in Giants Editor. And there it is. So you see that that's working, um, all that stuff. So now if I close this out, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Phone's going off. <laughs> uh, desktop. Open this up. Go to the desktop. I'm going to find that pipe pack here. Right here, pipe pack. And then here's the converted one right here, guys. So I'm going to open that up. And I was trying to show you if it works. Um, I was trying to find the mod desk for it, actually. And for some reason, it's not here. <laughs> All right, but if something didn't work for it, I'll show you what happens here. Let me go to a different mod here. All right, so we'll open this up. This is a mod, uh, map that I converted that there was a lot of errors, let me tell you. Um, matter of fact, let me open it up. Open with Notepad++. Okay, so this is what will happen. It'll be down here on the bottom in green, and it'll tell you what didn't convert, that you're going to have to convert manually. So, um, the one, this is, because this stuff isn't in the new game. This was stuff that was added by the modder, um, so it doesn't know where to find it to convert it over. So, pretty much all you have to do, like this here in particularly is um, you would just open up the, the original file and then it just go back into the original mod desk and then you would just go ahead and copy this from the original path up here copy it and then bring it into this one and then put it where it goes just paste it in there where it goes and then you can actually start from here make sure you get this arrow then come up here and delete that. And then you can back that up like that. And then save that after you fix everything, and then you're good to go. So, uh, oops. I'll put that back in there though, because <laughs> I haven't fixed it yet. Oh, there we go. I haven't fixed it yet. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, maybe we will do another tutorial here on it later on. But that's all I got for you today. So uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see what's coming, what's next, hit that subscribe button. And I'm out. Deuces.